you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Ms. Pierce, how are you acquainted with Jennifer Tilly? Jennifer Tilly kidnapped me, dismembered me, and held me hostage for over a year, during which time I witnessed her kill nine people, and she forced me to watch Liar Liar over and over again on a loop. That's horrible, Ms. Pierce. I'm truly sorry for what you suffered. Kidnapping. Dismemberment. Plus, you were framed, weren't you, for many of Ms. Tilly's crimes? I was fully exonerated shortly after your client was arrested. Yes, you were. Exonerated by her timely confession. In fact, Ms. Tilly even confessed to the murders of your family, murders for which you had already been found guilty long before you ever met my client, on a night she had an ironclad alibi. Now, why would she do that, Miss Pierce? I did not kill my family. Why would she do that? Because I love you! Because she's fucking crazy! She's a homicidal fucking bitch! Order! I said order! Miss Tilly, please, sit down. Thank you. Ms. Pierce, you may go now. I'd like to call my next witness. She's a monster, a complete psychopath. Even her fashion sense is deranged. And that voice is the sound of my nightmares. Did I mention she kidnapped my sister? Your Honor, I'd now like to call my final witness, Jennifer Tilly. Uh, um... You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Sure. Why not? Miss Tilly. Miss Valentine. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I'm Ashley Tiffany Valentine. I've just been using Jennifer's body. I'm sure the court would love to hear more. Please, go on. I was Charles Lee Ray's girlfriend. We met in the 80s, and it was beautiful for a time. And then he electrocuted me in a bubble bath and transferred my soul into a limited edition bell doll. A bell doll? Yes, uh, please, try and keep up. Me and Charles, well, now everybody calls him Chucky. He's a doll too, you know. We ended up in Hollywood, and I immediately started stalking Jennifer Tilly. I'm her biggest fan. And once I got a look at her fabulous lifestyle, well, I was hooked, so I transferred my soul once again. Well, that's a, a lot of soul transferring. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Voodoo, of course. I transferred my soul into Jennifer's body, and I've been impersonating her ever since. But as wild and wonderful as this ride has been, I just want to be me again. Tiffany Valentine. I see. Objection, Your Honor. What is the point of this charade? Yes. I've been wondering that myself. My point here is to show the court my petition declaring Miss Tilly not guilty by reason of insanity is completely valid. And she is therefore not responsible for her actions. Transferred souls, doll bodies, bubble baths. We've seen many examples of Hollywood actors who go so deep into the roles they play, they struggle to find their way back. I call it the Austin Butler effect. It took that poor man months to lose the Elvis accent. Now, Miss Tilly is herself an Oscar-nominated actress. Yes. Well known for diving headfirst into her characters, no matter how complex. <sighs> On the occasion of playing serial killer Tiffany Valentine in the hit Universal film Chucky Goes Psycho, <laughs> she went too deep. And this is the result. My client believes she is Tiffany Valentine. I'm Tiffany. I am. I'm Tiffany Valentine. Quiet, please. I'm not guilty by reason of insanity. 
There's something wrong with me. You may step down now, Miss Tilly, or whoever you are. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, Jennifer Tilly, guilty of 103 counts of murder in the first degree. Yes. Sentencing will be in October. This court is adjourned. But I'm innocent by reason of insanity. Jennifer? Yes, Tiffany. <gasps> I can't, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. All rise. Jennifer Tilly, for the crime of murder in the first degree, you are hereby sentenced to death by lethal injection. May God have mercy on your soul. Jennifer, I'm so, so sorry. For the last time, it's Tiffany, you fucking idiot. No wonder you fucked up the case. We can still appeal. Fuck the appeal, you're fucking fired. Wait, wait, that book, Voodoo for Dummies, I still need it. Get me that fucking book, and then you're fucking fired. You're getting what you deserve, you know. I'm only sorry that I didn't get a chance to do it myself. Hello, Nika. I hope they don't hit the wrong vein. I hear that can be very, very painful. Have you talked to Gigi? Yeah, I talk to them every day. They're doing great. Say from you and Chucky. Give them my love. Give them my love, please. <laughs> please. I want you to know that I'm gonna be there when the curtain goes up. I am going to watch you die. And then, I'm gonna roll this chair all over your fucking grave. Okay? Okay. Okay, it's a date. Come on, go ahead. <laughs>